Hello everybody, it's Chad Avalanche Fan here. So now we're doing part one, chapter eight, Glory Unwanted of Fire Marine at Dawn. So as you can see here, we're at the Dane Keep, Capital Dane, and the pretty much main palace. That would be General Jared and Duke Numida. So basically from what happened last time, Duke Numida is concerned because um, they're sending prime or sending someone to Check and see what they're what they've been doing. And I guess I must have skipped it. So basically, they were sending um, Prime Minister Sephiran, if you you sh you know him from Fire Emblem and Dawn or Path Rain, sorry. Um, they're sending him to check see what's happening in Dayan, pretty much. So they're asking what's going on in that. Pretty much, there are prisoners being executed, and they're saying it's a trap. And Izuka is being helpful for once, and thinks, "Oh, it's probably a trap." But he says, "No, no, don't go. Just let them die." And no, that would be stupid. And finally, Prince Peleus stands up to Izuka. It took God how many chapters, but he finally said, "Let her do as she wishes. Don't get in her way, Izuka." Hey, here's an idea to say, or I'll kill you. I'll shut him up, but no. So anyways, info-wise, you talk to so top, um, edge the conversation. I'm just being through it. You talk to Toranio, you get a restore, which restores weapons durability, like 40 out of 40, like 10 out of 40 to 40 out of 40, that kind of crap. Um, you talk to Vika, and you get an Ashra icon. Nothing really important. So anyways, I'm just going to quickly go through this here, so don't mind me. So here, the restore. There is that, because I don't think I'm going to be using that anytime soon. Um, other than that, not much anything else I can do. Just got to check to see what's available at the shop. Ooh! So I guess at this point, Iron Blade is available, which is pretty much just better than the Steel Sword. So you want to give that to... Zhark. And give that to Edward. And you just have to give one for now. Nothing really much there. And as you can see, all the other spells are open. So fire, L fire, thunder, L thunder, wind, L wind, light, L light. Huh. <sighs> it's a mouthful. So I'm not gonna get any yet. No point. Um. Oh, if you go to the shop, I forgot, I forgot to do this so many times. You can get a waver and slayer, wind edge, javelin, and that's all by grass. Nothing too much important there. Um, points wise, 8,022, so I'll probably save that for the end of the game. Not now. So now I think I'm set, so just save really quick. And we got about six minutes to beat or get through this. Hopefully, I'm guessing, now I'm guessing this will probably take two parts, but it's possibly three. So basically the object of this level is you want to save as many of the prisoners as possible because by the end of the game, once you beat the enemy, I believe you get a bonus 200, it's near 200 or 300 points for each prisoner you save. So definitely try to save as many as you can. Now, throughout the whole time I've played this game, I have saved all six prisoners once, but note only once. Um, usually I save an average about four to five prisoners. I usually not that I can do anything about it, I try. But usually one or f one or four, four or five survive. As you can see, they got reinforcements, and it looks like we're outnumbered, but not quite. Tormod comes from the bottom in the south. So we got three more people you can get. So, as you can see, Rian takes out one. Tormod and Vika take out the others. The other one. Okay, I'm definitely not going to be able to finish this at all. I'm probably not going to get to the fighting. And then you get Queen Nyla, who's a level 33 Lagoose Queen. Very powerful. And you get Volg. So I believe... Now, it gets more serious in this chapter, because I believe you're forced to take 12 people. Ten, 8 to 10, 10. And Raphael, too. Yeah, I forgot about him. So you have to take, I believe, 3, 6, 8 people. I think you can only pick four people 
now it's not too hard for me since I only have Edward and Z-Hark, so um, it's not really that bad. But if you had more pe working with more people, then you gotta cut out some people. So with me, it's easy. The only person you can't actually Toronto, Fiona, and Joe are people you can't use. Now for me, it's kind of easier because I'm only using these two guys here, so it's a bit easier for me. So I'll show you how to rescue these prisoners or these. That's kind of thing. Eight, eleven. Okay, so Zhar can. Ooh. Hopefully, I can rescue most of these guys. Hopefully. So we're gonna start off here by moving Nile. Let's see if I can do this right. Move Nile down here. Move Volt up here. And then, yep, move Raphael here and use Vigor, and he restores every adjacent unit next to him. So Volga and Nile get a second movement. Now I'm definitely not gonna be able to get this done since we just started, so this is gonna take a while. So keep Nile and Volg on the, the, the west side of the board because that's where reinforcements usually show up, which makes it a bit harder. Now what I'm going to try and do is rescue these guys before it's too late. And that's where Miriam, all them guys come handy. For the meantime, I think we're going to take out some bad guys with some fire. Now the one good thing about Vika, and it's the, I don't know if it's the only good thing, but the one good thing that I've noticed is that she really comes in handy when battling in her human form. Um, because I don't, not very many attacks hit her, or if they do, then it's low damage, so that's one good thing. So I'm just barely going to get started here, so I'm not going to be able to, oh, I could, but it would take some time. The good thing with this, now I can focus a little bit more on Soth in this level, because with Micaiah gone, it um, makes it easier. So let's see. Uh, I, don't, I shouldn't be using Bronze Knights because they're my two range attack, but they're the weakest weapon I got, so. this spot here, you want to make sure you get rid of the, the, the people closest to Raphael, like, uh, I'm not, I'm going to go up here, oh, I can't do it now, <laughs> um, it'd be this guy right here, since he's closest to Raphael, now, he may not be able to attack him, but better to be safe than sorry, because you don't want anyone getting close to him and killing him, which would suck, now, I'm not saying that he would possibly kill him, but you never know. I mean, things have happened, so. Uh, now, I'm not going to take any chances, so I'm just going to save it. So I apologize, I only got through one turn, but uh, like I said, I'll do another video, so next video, which I'll definitely put up, will be part one, chapter eight, part two. On that, take care, guys.